Matt McMahon, Murray State. Tell me about your first year at Murray State head coach. Well, looking back on last year, my first year at Murray State, uh, it was a great experience, uh, really a great learning experience for me. Uh, team encountered a lot of adversity and uh, different circumstances throughout the season. I uh, was really proud of our seniors, Wayne Langston and Jeffrey Moss. They continued to battle and uh, were able to secure Murray State's 29th straight winning season and uh, do some good things uh, throughout the year. Give me your general thoughts about the upcoming season. Well, I'm really excited about our team. I uh, feel like our four returning players have really had great off seasons and, and developed their games, developed their body in the weight room with our strength and conditioning coach, David Land. And then we have eight newcomers. And uh, of those newcomers, uh, obviously counting on several of them to make a major impact on our program, uh, starting with Jonathan Stark and Terrell Miller. And uh, really looking forward to a challenging non-conference schedule uh, leading up to OVC play. What do you like most about your team this year? I think I would probably start in our backcourt. I think uh, we have very good playmakers, uh, a couple guards and Jonathan Stark and Bryce Jones who make the players around them better. Uh, when you look at our front court, I think we have improved our size and athleticism up front. And then uh, with Demarcus Croker and G. McGee, two senior uh, wing players, uh, very experienced, have played at a high level. Uh, I think that'll that'll help uh, the development of our younger players. What about the challenges for your team? Well, I think, uh, like most years, just building building our team, uh, the team chemistry aspect of it. Uh, combining our four returners with eight newcomers uh, and putting those guys into a cohesive unit. Uh, and then just some of the challenges uh, that they're going to see when we go on the road, uh, and, and especially in the non-conference. And I think that'll help prepare us uh, as we get ready for what's going to be a great OVC season. Looking at the OVC season, how is OVC competition this year? Well, I think the league will be great as always. Uh, you know, you look at Belmont and that they return I believe 12 or 13 players, and Evan Brad's one of the best players in the country at any level. Uh, I think Tennessee State returning Tajir McCall, I, th I think he's terrific. Uh, and, and Coach Ford's done an, a really good job uh, loading up their talent pool there. And, and then I think you look at the other teams in the league, a lot of us are really dependent on newcomers uh, to come in and step into major roles. So a lot of unknowns, but, but I know it's going to be an exciting season. Last year, there were a couple of rule changes, like switching to the, to the 30 second shot clock. How do you think that impacted the game? Well, I think you saw the pace of play was, was much better uh, last year. Scoring was up uh, due to the shortened shot clock. And, and I think also trying to eliminate the physical play uh, on the perimeter uh, allowed uh, talented guards to really showcase their skill level and their, their ability to get to the basket and finish play. So uh, I think the rule changes have, have been good and have opened up the offensive style uh, for most teams. You talked about your non-conference schedule. What is your non-conference schedule? Well, we go right into the fire. We start opening night. We have a very talented Illinois State team coming to Murray uh, to open up the season. From there, we go to Middle Tennessee State. Uh, third game's Wisconsin Green Bay. So back-to-back -back NCAA tournament teams right there. Uh, we'll also host Wright State and Detroit at home. Uh, we have a brutal road trip to Ole Miss and South Dakota State, uh, several other Missouri Valley Conference games. So we'll certainly be tested uh, in November and December.